Hey guys, I'm Super Dumb. Now, initially I planned a totally different video for my very first video on YouTube. However, with the state of the world, the pandemic, the economic downturn, and so many of our brothers and sisters in mourning and calling out for justice right now, I felt we needed something different. So one of the things that I've always fallen back on in difficult times and we're in difficult times, feels like the world's kind of kicked you in the teeth a little bit. I've always fallen back on basics. And what's more basic than breathing? So one of the things I'd like to share with you are a few of my favorite Tai Chi breathing exercises that helps me relax, it helps me release stress, and also helps clear my mind. So let's get started. All right, first up is gonna be standing meditation. Now this is a great way to warm up the body, kind of get that mental focus sharp in the very beginning, let the body start to relax. So the way we're gonna start this off is we're gonna stand shoulder width apart. Now from this position, we wanna make sure that the toes are pointing straight ahead and the heels follow straight behind. Now from here, the next drop point we wanna look at is making sure that our knees are slightly bent. From this position here, we wanna make sure the hips are tucked in. Now when we say the hips are tucked in, basically what we're looking at is making sure that the hips and the pelvis are slightly rolled forward so that way what it does is it helps align the back here and it also allows for better breathing. So again, we have shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, knees are slightly bent, hips are tucked in. Now here, the next one we're going to look at is our shoulders and our chest. Our shoulders want to be relaxed and want to be dropped. Our chest wants to be concave, so it wants to be kind of almost slightly sunken in and almost feel like you're slouching. So the reason why we want to do that is because if our chest is sticking out in this position, it actually restricts our breathing. So we want to make sure that the shoulders are relaxed, the chest is relaxed as well. And now from here, we're going to go ahead and take the hands and we're going to place them right by our sides. From this position, we now want to just, from here, inhale and exhale. Now when we inhale, we want to think about lowering that breath all the way down. So when we inhale, we want to push all the way down, filling up the lower portion of our abdomen, our dantian, into the chest cavity, and then finally letting it all out to exhale. So we inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now every time I'm exhaling, I'm letting my body just kind of melt, kind of settle into position. And I'm gonna let everything kind of out. Anything that's outside of my body, I'm leaving outside of my body. I'm allowing my body just to relax and be comfortable with itself. So again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, once we feel comfortable with this, we're gonna go ahead and close our eyes. And when we do this, we wanna just start counting the breaths. So we wanna inhale, exhale, and that is one. Inhale, exhale, two. And that's the basis of standing meditation. Okay, now with standing meditation, the most important part is of course, the breathing. Now, when we're doing standing meditation, the length of time that it takes you to do it or the length of time that you practice really doesn't matter as much in the very beginning. It is said that if you can do an hour of standing meditation and it only feels like five minutes, you're on the right track. But if you do it for five minutes and it feels like an hour, uh, you're going the wrong way. But most importantly is when you first start off, you want to do it by counting the breaths. What this allows you to do is it gives you something to mentally focus on, to push everything else out, and focus primarily on your breathing. So what I like to do is as I breathe, as I set my posture, inhale, we fill up that dantian, we fill up the chest, and then exhale, 
we relax. Now every breath I take and every time I exhale, I feel my body just kind of melt away. Let everything else outside of you stay outside of you. Let it just focus on you with that breathing. So every time you inhale, you feel the body up. Exhale, you let everything go. Let your body melt. Let the tension drop. Let everything go. Okay? Now as you do this, you want to think about doing it maybe for about 10 full breaths. Then when you feel comfortable with that, you can do that for about a week. Then you can expand and you can start upping the number. So you may want to go 20 the following week if you can handle it. 30, later on 40. So it just depends. And everything is incremental and it is up to you. So do what feels good to you, first of all. All right, our first exercise we have is called bent knee. Now, the way we start this from here is we're gonna go ahead and start with our feet together. From this position, we're gonna step out to our shoulder width posture from here. We're gonna bend the knees just a little bit. Now from here, we're gonna roll the palms from our side to the front. We're gonna lift the palms up, lifting with the body. And once we get about shoulder level, we're gonna bend the elbows and this will expose the palms outward. From this position, we're gonna bring the hands down once they reach about solar plex level, we're gonna to start to bend the knees. Once the hands get to about your waist level, they're gonna stop in that position as if they were resting on a table. The knees will continue to bend just a little bit more. Now the body's gonna act like a billow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale. As we come up, exhale, as we go down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. and that is our bent knee posture. Now as you perform this exercise, we wanna make sure that we keep the eyes open, but we focus off into the distance. So the idea is that we say pick a point and then look beyond that. So your focus should be straight out, just letting the body relax. As we do this, we wanna just let the air flow, we wanna let the oxygen relax the body, let the body just drop down, let it melt, and just let everything go. So. Enjoy this exercise, have fun with it, and I'll see you on the next one. So that way it points at a 45 degrees. From this position, we're gonna take our left foot, we're gonna step straight ahead. Now from this position here, we're gonna bring the hands together so it's about a fist distance apart. And it's gonna be right in front of our navel area. So from this position, we're now gonna shift the weight forward. Now as we do this, we wanna make sure that in this position, at the full forward position, that the knee doesn't overpass the toe. And the way we do that is to make sure that the hip stays tucked in. If your hip is tucked in, typically your knee will not be able to overpass your toe. So as we go forward, we wanna make sure the hip stays tucked in and we reach. Once we reach the maximum position of the front knee, the hand should also be almost at a position where we're fully extended. We don't wanna be leaning, but at the same time, we wanna be open. Now from this position, we're gonna turn the palms out, and as we shift the weight back, we're gonna bring the hands back as well. 
We'll bring that through the torso here as it comes back to that beginning center position. We shift the weight forward, reach out, turn the palms, shift the weight back. Bring it back to center. We shift the weight forward, we reach out, we turn the palms, and we shift the weight back. Now, if we transition to our next one, what we're simply gonna do is we're gonna pivot our front foot. Now, from this position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it in, and we will step forward as we now shift forward to our opposite side. Still making sure that the hip stays tucked in, and we wanna make sure that that knee doesn't overpass the front toe. This takes a lot of undue pressure off the knee itself. So we shift the weight back, Come back through the center, reach, keep that hip tucked in, rotate the palms, come back, center, we'll do one more as we reach out, rotate the palms, come back, and center. And that is our parting the clouds. in from here right underneath the navel now as you come from this position we're going to raise the hands up we're going to rotate the palms at the chest as you reach all the way up now from this position the hands will fall to the side and they will scoop back in right underneath the navel right in front from here of the dantian now as we do this we don't need to interlock the fingers they will just simply come in front and as we rotate again at the chest we'll reach up all the way out and scoot back in. Now during this time we want to make sure that the knees are still slightly bent, the hips are tucked in, and we just relax the breathing. It doesn't necessarily need to be timed with the motion. We want to just from here breathe normally, relax. Once you feel good with this, you're going to go ahead and close your eyes. We will continue the motion. Do one more. We will scoop the hand, bring it up to the chest, rotate the palm, reach up, and let them fall to the side. And then open up your eyes slowly and relax. Now, with this exercise, this is said to harmonize your triple warmer. Your triple warmer being the three sections of your body and to make sure that those are in harmony and balance. Thank you. 
hopefully those exercises will help you manage your daily stress levels, but also whatever life may throw at you. Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and also ring that bell. Please also leave me a comment down below of anything that you may want to see in the future. But thank you always for watching, and also I wish you health, safety, and I'll see you on the next one.